Here in Bermuda, life is different. Time doesn't move hour to hour, but mood to moment. Life is lived by the currents, plans made by the tides, agendas written by the sun, and schedules scribbled by the sand. Every time we walk the shoreline here, some ancient urge arises, and we are compelled to shed shoes and shirts and jump in. Lisa catches up with Bermudian Andrew Kirkpatrick, a connoisseur of the coast, who not only shares secret hangouts for cliff jumping, but also reveals some of his favorite spots to curl toes in the sand. Horseshoe Bay is Bermuda's sort of premier beach. You know, everyone's told to go there, and it's, it's an amazing beach. I go there all the time. Cooper's Island is very scenic. It's sort of on a natural reserve. It's a, sort of an old um, NASA base that's been converted into a park. And it's tons of beaches and tons of privacy. So if you're looking to just be alone with sort of the person you're with, then that's the spot to go to. So the sea glass beach is a bit of an anomaly on the island. I have no idea where the glass comes from. It just appears on this one beach. And a lot of people go down there to sort of grab some to make jewelry or pieces of art or even just to hang in their house. And so it's kind of a cool, something different to do while you're at the beach. Right now, we're at Admiralty House in Bermuda, which is one of the prime spots of, you know, the island's cliff jumping community. Uh, people come down here all summer and spend most of the summer down here just leaping off the cliffs. All along this coastline, perfect for jumping off, the water's deep enough. And then on the other side of Admiralty there is where you get the bigger ones, sort of like, the 45, 50 feet, and then you're jumping into a little bit shallower water, so uh -huh. the more experienced sort of jumper will actually go from there. So we're actually coming down into the, um, the old smuggler's tunnel, and this is actually the point where we actually climb up after cliff jumping. Now what's cool about these smuggler's tunnels is sort of we'd have the blockade runners sort of waiting offshore, and they'd roll barrels down supplies down to a little rowboat that's just in here, and then they'd sort of load them up and then take them overseas to, uh, to the US, actually. Tobacco Bay also has a lot of history. That's actually where a lot of the gunpowder was smuggled out of Bermuda to support the, the Confederate Army back in the Civil War. But what's great about that is it's one of the few beaches that is on the St. George's side of the island, and it's sort of a, a peaceful little cove that's sort of surrounded by great snorkeling, it's got a little snack bar down there, so if you want to have a drink or a sandwich or whatever, it's great for, for everything. Cliff jumping for me is the thrill of the fall. I just love that in the gut, sort of like your heart stopping for a few seconds as you splash down, and, and that's why I do it, just sort of the, the rush I get. Take the leap, believe in the ocean. Control stops at the shore here. Jump for joy.